As we conclude this year's St. Gallen Symposium, we would like to thank you all for joining us and participating with such enthusiasm. In particular, we would like to thank Dr. Josef Ackermann. He has been um, on the board of the St. Gallen, uh, St. Gallen Foundation for International Studies for over 11 years. We'll be handing over the chairmanship to Peter Woser this September. We sincerely appreciate his dedication towards our student initiative and feel very fortunate to have been able to profit from his engagement. In the name of the current, as well as the 10 IC teams before us, we would like to thank him for his support and all the memorable moments we have shared in the past decade. Even though the foundations of the IC and the St. Gallen Symposium remain the same every year, no IC team is the same as the year before, and the experience are completely different. So many people ask us what we actually do during the year leading up to the symposium. Well, instead of listing up all the tasks we tackled in the past month, we prefer to share some special moments we have experienced. Let's start with Tom, who is responsible for the United States of America as well as Canada. True to the saying, go big or go home, Tom decided that a normal Christmas celebration would not be enough. His lucky day came when, he's, when he was invited to the official Christmas celebration of the White House, where he attended President, President Obama's Christmas speech. Needless to say, Tom was not only highly impressed, but also he carries home a very special moment as part of his IAC year. While Tom was enjoying the Christmas dinner at the White House, Sylvan, who was responsible for the leaders of tomorrow, was traveling through Germany. That night, the hostel he was staying locked him out. <laughs> you have to know, the ISC tries to keep the costs when traveling low, so we can invest the, monies, the money um, we save to the symposium directly. So instead of just booking another hotel room for 40 euros, Sylvan decided to sleep in his car, even though he faced a six-hour ride back home the next day. A couple of hundred kilometers further north, Gilles started his trip to Scandinavia. Very motivated and in great anticipation, he set out his journey with what he thought was everything he would need. However, it seems that he had taken on another challenge by accident. For the over 80 business meetings, he had taken along only five business cards. <laughs> but Jill decided to raise the bar even higher. After one particular meeting, the CEO that Jill had been talking to asked him whether he would like to take a cab back to his hotel. Jill politely refused, as he also was very conscious about his budget. Jill's partner was horrified and suggested that this was not really a good option. Well, after all, it was a known fact that ice bears roamed the countryside. So, well, nevertheless, Jill decided to walk home, and luckily for us, the icebergs were off somewhere else that evening. You see, we could go on and on with stories like these for many hours to come. But looking back on our experiences we made during this year, we've come to the conclusion that no matter what situation in life you're in, there's one particular IC saying we learned in the first week of our IC year that um, follow through through every situation. It goes, Whenever you are under distress or under pressure, just act like a duck. On the surface, appear cool and level-headed, but underneath, paddle like hell. <laughs> As Christoph and I are not the only two ducks who organize this year's symposium, we feel that now is the time to introduce you to the other members of our duck family who, together with us, made the 43rd St. Gallen Symposium possible. Dear ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the 43rd International Students Committee.
In the name of the 43rd International Students Committee, we would like to thank all our benefactors and all participants for their support. We are very pleased that, this, that the desire to support intergenerational dialogue still st strikes a chord with today's world. Your support and your dedication make it possible for us to organize the St. Gallen Symposium and improve it year by year. We sincerely hope that you enjoyed your experiences here at the 43rd St. Gallen Symposium and that you will take home memories that will last for many years to come. We would feel honored to welcome you back at the 44th St. Gallen Symposium next year. Now, we kindly invite you to enjoy the international buffet on the piazza as well as the main building. And after that, have a drink with us in the lounge on top of the rooftops of the university. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>